welcome to part two of working on the nacelles for my 1 350th USS Enterprise. And in the last video, we got all the lights in and made sure all the lights were working. Today, we're going to start on painting. Now, the first part of painting really goes back to those lights because what we have to do now is light block on the outside. Uh, we light blocked on the inside. Now we have to make sure that still looks good, um, especially now that we have joined the seams. I've glued those and I've added some putty along that seam, um, but that seam is still going to need to have some light blocking done. So the best way to do this really is to flip off the lights. And now we can see that there's light shining through in places where we really don't want it, especially you can see a lot of those lights shining through along that seam. Yeah, definitely some that's a, a post from where these two sides meet and you can't light block inside that so it kind of glows. You can also just kind of see just some parts where the internal plastic um, didn't get light blocked that well. Uh, bottom seam looks pretty good up until you get to about this fin. You just have to start airbrushing it with some black acrylic. So what we have to do now is just start light blocking it with some more black acrylic. Just blocking out any place where there's still light shining through where there shouldn't be. I always say this is kind of the spotted cow phase of the Enterprise. I like doing this with kind of the lights down at least so you can really see where that light is shining through where it shouldn't be. It's one of those parts of modeling where uh, the model gets a lot uglier before it starts looking better. Uh, but you've got to do it to block out those extra light leaks so that the model looks right. Um, so yeah, it's it doesn't look great right now, but by the time we get to the end, uh, we'll be looking pretty good. Okay, we did several more passes with the black, and now we're going to start actually painting things white. And this will take several coats to cover up that black. Um, so probably once an hour today, I'll come down and lay down another light coat of white over the black until we have a good, even white nacelle. Okay, that is our first coat of white paint over the black. Now you have to go very light. Uh, modeling paint has a carrier, which is the acrylic. It has pigments, black in the black paint, white in the white paint, and then it has a solvent to keep it all liquid. Uh, if you spray the white paint on too heavy, the solvent in the white paint actually kind of reactivates the black paint and softens it and the two mix up and the black paint rises up through the white and shows through. So you have to go very light so you don't get much white paint and much solvent on the black paint so the white paint can just cure on top and make a hard edge. Uh, if you spray too heavy all the paint mixes and starts bleeding through. So just really light coats, let it fully cure, fully harden and then do another light coat over on top of it. That's the only way you will ever get the white paint to cover up the black. Now that we've done all of our coats of white, we can move on to kind of the fun parts, which is painting all of the details. So we're starting with the outer grills, and these of course are the ones that don't light up. So they just get kind of a, a dark, not quite a black, more of a gunmetal color. And this is where the ship will really start kind of coming to life. All right, so now we've got those grills done. Now we're going to be working on these thruster areas, which should be to have a dark shade of yellow here. Uh, 
All right. Next up is some of the light blue accentane that kind of goes on the front of the nacelle. So we've masked all of that off, and that's what we're going to work on next. So now that we have all the base coats done, we can finally plug this in and see a bit of what it'll look like when it gets done. All right. There we go. Nice lit nacelles, light up on top. And this is kind of the fun part because what we get to do next is trim these fiber optics so that they remain just pinpoints of light on the surface. Okay. And up on front two, Instead of having these fibers, we just want little pinpoints of light on the surface. All right. There's that light that shines back on the unlit grill. There's our light that will be illuminating the registry. There's a little light right up on top. All right, that's a pretty good good looking light setup. Take a look at the other side here. Yep. Lit grill, little crystal on top. There we go, an awful lot of work. We still have a lot of detail painting to go on these nacelles. And of course, then all the decaling, but things are definitely going well.